Hey guys, Scott here with some more narrative thought tools. Today we're going to be using... Why, why, do, why does everyone always say we? You aren't using these things, I am. Today I'm going to be using only spells. That's right. Me, the guy who shits on sorcery so much, is going to be using only spells. Because I like losing. Now basically the reason I'm doing this is because they uh, buff the cast speed of like uh, a few spells. Um, Great Soul Arrow comes out decently fast. It's kind of fast enough to punish people that miss Ultra Great Weapon attacks if you time it perfectly. That's about it. Other than that, everything is still kind of the same. But I still want to try it and see what happens. The damage uh, seems to be the same too. I didn't see any, uh, I tested like damage buffs and stuff. It seems to be the exact same. I saw Lightning Spears come out really fast too, which is kind of cool. But, uh, I'm not using those. I'm using Sorceries today. So let's see how this works. So I'm gonna do the the basic the basic this thing, and then try to like oh it's kind of strange got a little bit of latency going on. Usually want to run back and forth in a weird angle like that. Yeah, we got some latency. That's fine. So I'm gonna have to predict where he's gonna actually swing. Come on, you gotta cart this man. You should be pressuring me. I'm a mage. Get up on my face. Why did you get hit by that? Oh, I don't understand it. If you run back and forth like this, they come off at different times, so... Um, I use Homing Soul Mass, not Crystal Soul Mass, because it costs, like, half the stamina, half the FP, and it does, you know, not half the damage, so... The damage ratio is a lot better for, uh... Oh god, the lag. Damage ratio is a lot better. For the, uh, Soul Mass. Oh boy. Uh, I'm getting scared. Nope, you don't get the black crystal out. <laughs> it's not me that's lagging. It's definitely not me, so. I mean, if you black crystal out and go somewhere else, you're just gonna get the same shit everywhere you go, man. Well, I mean, he's probably just from far away or something. I guess he's hoping to find other far away players. He was German. That'll do it. I guess he's just gonna black crystal every time until he finds a German opponent or something. <laughs> I don't know. Please, 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 please. Thank you. So, bread and butter spells for any dual caster are Farron Flash Sword, and that's about it. Farron Flash Sword is the, or God, is by far the most useful spell for uh, for dueling in, uh, in PvP. Now, for invasions, that's obviously different. But for uh, 1v1 duels, Fire and Flash Sword is definitely uh, the most useful spell you got. So much so that I have another longer staff just for it, even though it does less damage, just to make the spell longer, which is really, really important. Great Soul Arrow is good against um, punishing very slow weapons. I'm trying to use White Dragon Breath a lot, but it's really, really hard to use it. You have to be, like, frame perfect with aiming it and timing it, so it's pretty, pretty damn hard. So again, running in. Ah, see, it too many came off that time. I didn't do it right. Okay, so baiting them into rolling attacks a lot. Whoops. I didn't lock on. That was unfortunate. Homing Salt Mass does not cost very much FP, so I can do it a lot for him out. Ah, tried to combo it. Yeah, that was a stupid idea. I tried to combo the uh, Soul Mass with Fair and Flash Sword. But Baron Flesh Sword has extremely bad tracking on the running R1. Hmm, that's unfortunate. It also has just worse tracking than a straight sword too. It's basically just an awful, awful straight sword. But I should probably free aim it. A little latency here too, damn. Well, I am playing early in the morning, so. That sometimes works on some players. I don't know how that didn't hit him. I guess it's latency. Um, that uh, Farron Flash Sword into Soul Great Sword sometimes works on players. Uh, most players can just double roll and avoid it though, so. I'm hoping he panic rolls into that. Damn it. Doesn't matter. He just double rolled over my head. Let me try predicting where he's going to roll with this. No. White Dragon Breath is really disappointing because the crystals don't damage them. It's only like a very short damage frame right in the beginning with the initial white beam, so it's really not, uh, it's not that good. I'm trying to get him as he, as he rolls into me. Out of mana. Whoops. 
Oh, he doesn't take that as a sign of me healing. Something that catches people off guard a lot, too, um, is spamming Fire and Flash Sword like nine times in a row. Like, here, I'll try it here. Yeah, people don't expect you to be able to swing that many times. So, for the entire fight, I was getting it in his head that I can only use that spell maybe, you know, three or four times before I was out of uh, stamina or mana. But, in reality, I can do it like nine times. So, if they don't have a parry tool out, um... Baron Flash Road is actually a pretty good spell to spam because they don't expect you to do it that many times in a row. It's one of the few examples of, ex of effective like R1 spam because... Now, you can't, just, you can't just lead with that because then they'll know you have that much stamina and they'll know you can do it that many times in a row. But if you, you know, during the fight, use like one or, like, you know, one or two or three in a row and then randomly you just use like seven in a row, it'll catch most people off guard. Like, I have 39 Endurance with the Sorcery build, which is... Way more than you would think people have. I also have 45 Vigor too, which is, again, more than most people have. Um, that's one of the benefits of doing pure sorcery and not doing any weapons, because I only have 7 Strength and 12 Dex. I have I cannot wield basically any weapon in my entire inventory. Everything is red. So, you know, I don't have to dedicate points to that. I can get way more stamina and stuff, which is really nice. Unfortunately, that only limits me to Farron Flash Sword and Soul Great Sword for, like, weapon spells. Yeah, the running R1 is really, really, really weird. Really weird tracking with the uh, Fire and Flash Sword, so you gotta be careful with that. God damn it. Hey, that worked out. That was stupid of me to just blindly do that. Hmm. I'll take that ship damage, I guess. Rolling R1 of the Fire and Flash Sword is extremely good, too. Oh, so fancy. It's like a Silver Knight. I'll do a uh, flash sword, soul great sword now. Mmm, he blocked it. Damn it. Can't do much against that. Yeah, a soul arrow comes out pretty fast now. That guy still should have dodged it, but. Oh, wow. I did not expect him to just sit there and cast a spell. I could have just killed him right there. Oh, he's still not dead. There we go. GG. I feel like I, uh, people are so not used to fighting mages that a lot of them just end up face tanking spells, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> Do I have Sun Princess? I don't even have Sun Princess, damn. I need to put the Ash and Estus Flask in my, uh, in my bar. Oh god, I just hit my stupid pop filter again, I'm sorry. But it seems like the basic things I end up doing, uh, when I'm fighting as a pure caster are, uh, Flash Sword and a Soul Sword is decent. Uh, soul Arrow is good if you have perfect spacing. You just narrowly dodge like a great weapon attack. Homing Soul Mass is good for running back and forth and uh, making them come off at uneven times. White Dragon Breath can be good if they roll against you, but you need to be perfect in your timing. So much so that it's kind of not worth it. The damage is really nice if you do hit it. It does like 700 damage, but it's really, really, really hard to hit with it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I only hit with like one, one or two during this entire video, so... It's really, really hard. That man is so very blue. He's very blue and very naked, which is terrifying. Nah, alright, so I got one hit off, that's fine. Shit! Ooh, that almost didn't work out. He's rolling very far though, so it's gonna be hard to catch him with that. Oh no, 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 no! Bad idea. People don't expect you to go in their face and use a Solaro sometimes, so. See how he just runs right through the crystals? That's why I think this spell is really disappointing. You would think the crystals exploding would do damage, but they don't. I could have just spam uh, kept spamming R1. He rolled into me. He wants to parry me now, so I'm not going to do it. Hey, I'll backstab you with Aaron Flesh Sword. Eh. That'd be so cool if you could do that. So I'm not safe with attacking until he uh, puts that away. He's relegated to one-handing now, so that's really all I can do. I'm getting into this hit. I'm not going to use Flash Sword anymore, and then eventually I'm just going to randomly pull out Flash Sword, so. Nah, it's going to hit me. Okay, I could double roll because the rolls in this game are ridiculous. Damn. Guess them properly. You just have to guess where they're going to roll with that spell. All you can do. And then he decided to do a jump attack for some reason. GG. Yeah, it's uh, it's really hard to hit uh, 
White Dragon Breath because you have to perfectly, not only perfectly predict exactly where their roll is going to be when they're just coming out of the roll and not in iframes anymore, but you also have to time it perfectly because the actual active hitbox of the beam is very, very short. Um, it's about as short as like a regular weapon swing, so you need to hit them exactly with the white beam for it to work. I'm considering just using Crystal Soul Spear because it does kind of the same thing. So, I don't, I don't know if I should use uh, White Dragon Breath. I don't know which has the higher uh, FP cost. I think White Dragon Breath is like... <sighs> I don't know, actually. Let's see. Oh, that's actually way less than Soul Spear. 25 versus 46. No, okay. That's way more efficient. Well, alright, whatever. What do we got? Twin Blades. Okay. Mm. Eh, didn't time it right. Baron Flash Sword doesn't stun for more than one hit, too, so... I mean, doing more than one or one in a row is not a bad idea, because sometimes people roll into it, considering you're a mage and they think you're just going to be squishy. Ah, damn it. That was really bad. See, it looks like that hit him too, but it still didn't hit him. Very hard to use that spell. Not so much that it's hard to use it, it's just hard to just get lucky and predict exactly where they're going to go. If you don't predict it perfectly, you won't hit anybody. Damn. Thought he'd go in front of me that time. He went behind me. And he switches to a katana. Not even a washing pole. Mm. Yeah, you really gotta unlock with that uh that regular R1, the running R1. It's very uh very bad tracking. Well, it seems like we're gonna only finish him off with a uh, flash sword or soul great sword, so I'm gonna use a heretic staff, which is much longer. Waiting for a roll. Oh, that worked out. Ah, he's not dead. God damn it. GG. And another unfortunate part about being a caster is you need to refill your Estus a lot. I'm I'm very happy that it's kind of okay for people to drink Ash and Estus. Like I've never I've never considered that bad matter at all. Considering how underpowered casters are in uh, in dual environments and evasions they can be really good but in dual environments they've always been really really bad so i never really mind when people use ash and Essus. if you watch any of my streams or anything like that if someone ash and Essus, i completely let them do it it's not like a bad manner thing at all i mean because against a really passive player you don't have enough fp to kill them because they'll dodge most of your shit so it's definitely not considered a uh, bad matter at least i i don't think it is maybe maybe you guys do i don't know I've, I've never uh, given people shit for it, so. I really need better fashion, but, I mean, does fashion really matter when I have this face? I don't think it does. My character's name is Where's My Face, by the way. It's probably the best character I've ever made. <laughs> he just does not have a face. I don't know how he, I don't know how he gets sustenance. He just absorbs sunlight or something. He's like a flower. I like how the uh, the chin strap is just like floating in the air too. It doesn't even like wrap around his chin because he has no chin. Faramine Cathedral Knight. Cool. What's he got? I stock. I stock and a parrying dagger. Fuck. That's annoying. Yeah, you take that 96 damage. Stop pressuring me. something he panic roll. I mean, he did, but then he just rolled again. Because Dark Souls 3. Hmm. Ah, that's so disappointing, that spell. <laughs> he was just, he was in the crystals for so long and it still didn't damage him. Uh, I really wish that spell was better. It's really cool in practice, but it's just bad. That worked out. I thought he was, I aimed it behind me because I thought he was going to roll past me and I was predicting where he was going to roll, but it has such a wide arc that it hit him even when he was behind me, so 
that ended up working out anyway. Not exactly what I intended, but I mean, I'll take it, I guess. No complaints. <clears throat> I really don't know what I should use in that fifth uh, spell slot, though. Like, White Dragon Breath is cool and all, but it's really, really hard to hit people with it. And it's not that I'm just like, I'm not good enough to hit people with it. It's just it requires a perfect prediction, and that assumes the play you're fighting is bad and really predictable. So, I don't like planning builds around other players being bad, you know. So, I, re I really, really don't know what other uh, what other spell I could use. Maybe Farron Dart to pick off people with, like, no health. But the thing is, Great Soul Arrow is so fast. Oh, and it does, like, four times the damage of Farron Dart that it's, like, almost not even worth it to use Farron Dart anymore. I know it's got running attacks, which are kind of neat, but all you have to do is just run to the side. Oh, God. Please no, baby. I will totally cut through your shield, man. What are you doing? Try to parry it. <laughs> what the hell gimmick that was, but... That's one good thing about magic, and goes through most shields. So... Was doing. <laughs> it was entertaining at least. That the that, that dude that dude was so purple under his skin. I just summoned no one. If this is like an Arya Stark and they've have it this is like the only time I'll consider like someone using an S Stark to be like cool and in character. I'll be totally okay with that. The amount of Artoriuses I've seen with S Stocks is very upsetting. Yeah, I'll probably switch it out with uh, Great Farron Dart. Just experiment with that. I'll probably do it after I run out of Estus or die. This white dragon breath is uh, it's it's cool, but it's just too damn hard to hit people with. <sighs> okay, it's not Arya Stark at all. Hmm. Damn it, bad tracking. Mashing R1. He's got a parrying shield, so I should probably not do that, actually. Okay, put it away. Huh. It's back out now. Damn it. Mmm, thought I had time. Ah, damn it. If I had the Heretic Staff, he would have got hit by that. Ooh, nice. GG. He spammed me with it. Oh, I don't know why this spell is parryable. It's still my fault for getting parried. I played predictably there. But I don't know why this parry is parry or spell is parryable. It costs as much stamina as a uh, straight sword. It does less damage than a straight sword. It can't be comboed like a straight sword. It costs FP unlike a straight sword. And it can be parried like a straight sword. It doesn't make really any sense of why it's that bad. But it's still my fault. I don't know why you just tanked all of that. I what what? What how did I how did I not just kill him there? I'm very confused. Oh whatever. I'm dead. Oh never mind, he didn't do a running R1 there. That was so weird, though. I don't know how I didn't just kill him right there. Shit, I'm really running at him. Stamina here. There we go. Oof, God, that was close. Nice parry. I hate that this shit is parryable. I always think it's not in the back of my mind, but I gotta remember that it is. I don't know how it makes sense that you can parry, because uh, I don't think he was in range to parry the actual staff. I'm pretty sure he parried the actual, f like, spell portion of it. Which doesn't make any sense, because it's energy. I don't know how you deflect energy like that, but I don't know. From hates caster, so fuck it. Can't parry still a great sword, but it's much slower. It's so slow to the, to the point where if I know he's going to parry and I run up and still a great sword instead, he'll still have time to roll away afterwards. Which kind of sucks. Is that the uh, Dragon Slayer? 
I'll give him that. So he's going for the, the super lightning damage and the lag, apparently. That's terrifying. Oh god, that range. Okay, this is this is not good. I need I need to roll basically every time he swings now. Ah, why did I not roll? I know he's laggy. Stupid me, man. Yeah, like I'm ever gonna predict that when he's teleporting. I should not bother at all with that. Nice, he panic rolled. Soul Great Sword's really good for hitting people when they panic roll. I don't like things that rely on people fucking up, but it, it is a good combo. Flash Sword, Flash Sword, uh, Soul Great Sword. Although I found half the time I'll hit people with two Farron Flash Swords and they'll just mash R1 anyway and then I'll get hit while do, um, doing the uh, Soul Great Sword. Basically, it's it's implying that spamming Farron Flash Sword is more effective than doing that one, two, three uh, combo. But. You basically just have to guess if the opponent's going to try to either roll away or stay aggressive. And um, that's really hard to do if you've only been fighting them for like 10 seconds. You don't have enough time to judge their playstyle. So it's kind of just up to luck at that point. But um, I mean, if you've been fighting for a while or you know your opponent, that's a different story. But uh, if you're just uh, if you're just fighting the guy for the first time, you, you just have to guess, basically. Now, don't be like that. He's side strafing too much. Thought I could get him on the reload. Damn. Oof. Surprised that hit me. Stamina for days. Damn. God, I lost so much health. Prisoners. I am wearing the prisoner's chain too, so that crossbow was doing like 300 damage a hit. It, it's very painful. Ah, man. When I can't parry, it's very, very bad. Because this kind of shit that I'm uh, very used to parrying, I just can't do much about. This guy knows the spacing for sure, though. Hmm. Damn. You can uh, parry and repost with like a Soul Greatsword for like 300 damage, so it's it's almost not even worth the risk of missing the parry. Ever seen a reactive guy against the caster? You'd think they'd all all up be in my nuts, but nope. Ow, why did I not roll? Just fucking sat there like an idiot. Can't be trading, man. Hmm. So hard to judge if I'm gonna be able to That was completely the wrong spell. <laughs> <laughs> He tends to use his crossbow and then swing immediately after. So I'm not running in after he misses his crossbow hit. Because he tends to he tends to run in afterwards. Yeah, see he always does that. I'm not gonna win the trade anymore. I'm hoping I get yeah, there we go. I'm hoping I just get him when he's trying to shoot like that. Worked out. No no no! Oh what? Man, that guy was good. What the hell? <laughs> that guy was good. I don't know why he fucked up in the end there and just got hit by that. Oh well. That guy knew his uh he knew his spacing really well. I'm really disappointed that he just fucked up at the end there. That should have been a loss, I think. Oh well. Alright, let's get this out. It ain't working. You know what? Let me try using Farron Hale. I know it's got a like a wider berth now, but it's still not that good. Cause if they're too far away, they can just walk out of range of it and if they're too close they can just roll behind you so you're like the the cone is decent now but i mean <laughs> if he's like here or closer he can just roll like this or he can just roll like this and he'll get hit by nothing and then he's in range to punish me because i'm stuck in the animation so i still don't think varen hill is worth anything but i'll fuck around with it some more all it takes is someone to roll like uh roll behind you. So I guess I should only use it at medium range or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm saying the spell is bad, but um, in its defense, I'm actually just not particularly... Uh, I'm not I'm not good with it because I never use it. I can say I consider it really bad. 
Is he trying to like do the you're a ghost thing? I don't I don't I don't understand. Is he trying to ruse me or something? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Hey, 160 damage. Nice. <laughs> Why do I always get these people when I fucking summon for duels? Anytime I make a video, this is all I get. This is all I get. I guess I'll just try figuring somebody else. Here we go. <laughs> Why do I only get these people when I make these videos? <laughs> Fucking Hugo in the last video. And now Salm Guy Gazel. <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to like trick me with the hidden body thing that totally doesn't work at all. I don't because you can just lock onto them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the hell he was doing. It's a trolley bastard. But hey, Farron Hale did 160 damage, so. Best spell in game. I don't know. I should probably use Farron Dart, but I need to. I need to see where the applications of Farron Hell lie before I judge it further. When it's used against me, I just kind of laugh against it. But I've never used it myself, so not fair to judge it. <clears throat> not yet. What do we got? Good old, good old sword and board. Good old lightning sword and board. That will match R1 all fucking day. He didn't like that I R1 harder than him. Mmm, the delicious spacing. Mmm, feels so good when that happens. So I, I just won there by mashing R1. <laughs> I, I, I would feel bad about doing it and say it's scrubby, but I'm doing it because people don't expect you to do it. People don't expect mages to have the melee capabilities of a brain damaged Dark Sword guy. So using a bunch of R1s in a row is not actually a bad idea. Um, you know, unless, unless they can possibly parry you, which, I mean, I, he had a medium shield. Chances are he probably wasn't going to. And uh, he only had a straight sword, so I doubt the repose would have been like horrendous, even if he did. So I I weighed the pros and cons, and I figured it'd be worth it to just keep mashing it. And uh, he kept thinking my combo was done, but it wasn't. So it actually works. One of the few things R1 spamming is uh, actually like a decent strategy with, especially because you don't get stunned after the first hit. People like have it locked into their head that when they get two hits stunned, they need to roll away. But with Fire and Flash Sword, you don't get to it stunned. You get stunned for basically as long as the animation is, and that's it. So when people get out of the stun, they think, okay, now it's my time to swing. But then you can just keep swinging. Yeah, you can just roll right under it like that. And maybe you need to use it when they're further away or something. I'm telling you, it works. People do not expect that shit. There we go. Now he's got a pairing shield, so... Okay. Wait, can that shield even parry? I can't even... Is that the small iron shield? I think it can. I don't know. I just pulled out this old greatsword because I figured he was going to try to parry, but I don't even know if that shield can parry. Definitely not a common one. This is working way more than it should, by the way. <laughs> I kind of was making this to show that spells are bad. It's not supposed to be working. <laughs> well. Alright, whatever. This doesn't mean the spells are good. It just means the people I'm fighting are not that great. I don't know. But then the argument is, well, if most people aren't good, doesn't that mean comparatively it is good? Because you can beat most people with it? I don't know. That is a moral... That is a moral question for a philosophy class. Wrong way. I didn't expect him to just take the soul mass of the face. 
Damn it, I guessed wrong again. <laughs> Even roll. Hmm. He rolled behind me, but it still hit him? I guess lag or something. Ah! Perseverance! Nope! Give me the flawless. Give me the flawless! Come on, baby! Give it to me! Damn it! Not gonna get it. He's gonna hit me once. Rip. It's over. Dream Ogre. Damn it, I guess wrong every single time. <laughs> it's annoying. What was that? Why would you do that? Why? He just got hit again, trying to be fancy doing a reverse back step. What the fuck is the point? I'm just gonna hit you when you do it every time. You're not invincible when you do that, man. People try to look so damn fancy. I mean, it was useful as shit in Dark Souls too, but I don't know why you would do it in this game. Roll into me, roll into me. Damn it. I will never guess properly with that. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's already dead! Let it happen. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know why that guy kept trying to do reverse back steps. You can just hit them in the face while they're doing that. It's really not a good idea at all. It's fun to do while you're waiting for duels, though. I guess, like, the, the philosophy is, like, you would want to... You want to do a running R1. And you want to maintain forward momentum, so you do that and then do your running R1, I guess. But it's just quicker to run in a circle and then just do a regular R1, and it has less of a warning. This is like a, hey, I'm gonna do running R1. Running R1's coming. Running R1's coming. But if you just, like, do that and run in, like... I can, look how quickly I can do a running attack with Fire and Flash Sword. That's like way quicker, and I can do this as many times as, uh, as I want. I, it doesn't have to be one back step before I do it, and I can stay out of range and maintain the forward momentum and still do a running R1. So, yeah, I don't understand why you'd ever do a back step into running R1 like that. Doesn't really make any sense. I wish back steps had uh, iframes like in Dark Souls 2, so that they, they were actually useful, but. I don't know why. I don't know why they took that out. Granted, back steps were a little, probably a little too strong in Dark Souls 2. Like, I would be okay with them bringing it back, like iframes, but it has, um, like, it has less, less iframes. So you can't just like <laughs> back step through everything because it, it was a little silly sometimes. Someone that knew how to time their back steps perfectly, it was kind of stupid. So like, if they like have the iframes or something like that, that would be cool. Or if they actually made positional sync in this game accurate, so it mattered. Damn, two failures in a row? Then it would be cool, but yeah, back steps are... They're fine in PvE and shit. But yeah, they're, they're just not very good in PvP. You can use them if you want to look fancy, I guess. But uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you're just going to get your ass hit. Alrighty, not a failure. I mean, not not like a summon failure. I'm not saying this guy's a failure or anything. I'm saying he wasn't a summon failure, so I'm happy. He's got a pyro glove. Gotta watch out for that forbidden sun speed now. They buffed the speed of chaos fed vestiges too, which is cool. I think it needed it. Anything that buffs spells, I'm totally okay with. Alright, let's do it. I don't want to turn toward you and bow, but yes. Shit. Damn it. I even tried making him come out on multiple times. He just kept rolling. Just never roll into people that do uh, or, or, uh, Great Cast Fireball. He's not even unlocking with it, so, so I probably can roll into him. Boulder Heave? This fucking madman. Which is locks. Gotta be careful with it. Hopefully he tries to impact. Oh, man! He just dodged, he just dodged my spell by boulder heaving. Oh, 116 damage. Worth. Yeah, I can roll into him. He's not aiming at his feet at all. 
Damn, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, uh, that was really bad. I should have got hit by that. Again, I'm gonna get hit. What am I doing? Fucking roll into it, you idiot. Swing twice. Alright, I'm down. Damn, didn't even clip him there. I'm doing really badly against this guy, for sure. I could try to run into range and then dodge a hit and use a, uh... I don't trust that boulder, man. I'm rolling every time. Not gonna hit him. Oh, he's at his... He, he used all of his stamina. Really bad. It's so hard to use all your stamina in this game. Mm, damn it. Mm, guessed incorrectly again. Theron Hale seems to not be doing work for me. It's the same thing. You have to kind of guess, like, uh, White Crystal Breath. Except with White Crystal Breath, you do, like, ten times the damage, so... If you do guess properly, it works. What? What are you doing? Damn it. Fucking yes, Doc. So good. Mm, why'd I let him hit me with that? I'm just playing really badly against this guy. Let's switch to Heretic Staff and do a bit longer range. Oh, I'll do that. Doors, of course. Because he read that it's got S scaling. Don't sacred flame me. Damn it, he still had stamina. Mmm. Why would you firebomb? He's not dead! Oh, that would have been so hot. Yeah, you can still roll through that regardless. Oh, I'm dead. God damn it. And he still didn't die. GG. He still didn't die. He just stood in the middle of that fair in hell and didn't die. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, that spell is still, still really bad. GG, though. That sucks. We cast the spells at the exact same time. And apparently my spell just didn't do any damage. Because he was still in the animation. He was still in the uh, casting animation when my spell was like hitting him. So I guess fair in hell just misses people that are standing still occasionally. So we're going to swap that baby out. <laughs> Never use that again. Let's go back with this. At least there's like a chance to uh, do some decent damage with this. Even if I guess properly with Farron Hail, it's like 160 damage. So seems really bad. Really, really bad. That should have been, that should have at least been a trade. It made no sense how that dude lived. I'm going to go back and watch that later and then cry. Maybe he just has like really shitty range or something. Because that dude is maybe like where that blood stain is. That dude was probably about right here. And Farron Hell missed him while he was standing still. So if that's not proof the spell is god awful, then I don't know. I don't know what is. I kept read reading on Reddit and like forums and shit. Like, oh, Farron Hell's so good now. It's this super sick cone. No, it's still really bad. It's still really, really bad. Those are the kind of people that go, oh, the S stock's done. No one's ever going to use it again because they nerfed the animation by like four frames. It's not big enough of a change for it to matter, guys. S stock's still good. Farinelle's still bad. It's not even that I'm not using it properly, too. Like, I get that you have to guess where they're going to roll so they roll into, like, the giant cone, but... Even when you guess properly, it still does, like, 150 damage. EMB washing pole. That is horrifying. Damn it. Hey! <laughs> I hit somebody with it. In a straight line, nonetheless, but... Ah, he double rolled. I kind of want to beat him with my staff. But I might die. Oh god, it's got zero range. <laughs> Guessing correctly again. Nice. Well, I thought that was going to be very scary, but it wasn't. That is a very, very large glowy purple stick. That name. <laughs> the fuck? Oh shit, this has been 40 minutes. I was supposed to end that. Why did I end it on my last death? I'm actually enjoying this. I'm having fun. 
I'll go a little bit longer than normal. This is breathing, uh, breathing life into a game that I've... It, it's gotten a little stale, you know? There's just, uh... There's just, there's just not enough shit you can do in duels. And invasions I really dislike in this game, so... There's only, there's only so many things I can do. Ah, uh, yes, Demon Fists. The weapon, they got their AR buffed, and that doesn't really matter, because it's still fist weapons. That being said, I'm a mage, so this might go differently than normal. Oh, you absolutely have the fire clutch ring on. I don't know why I didn't just keep spamming R1. Yeah, Demon Fist Cessus are still god-awful weapons. <laughs> They can triple the AR and they'll still, still be bad weapons. The, the the issue was never the damage with them at all. It's the fact that they have no range and no hyper armor. Uh, Cestus has Perseverance and you'll only ever beat somebody with a Cestus if they don't know what Perseverance does. That's it. Or they have like an ultra great weapon and they refuse to switch their weapon or something like that. In which case you can just reaction, uh, reaction Perseverance and L1 them as they hit you. And you'll probably win the trade, but that's the only time you'll win with a Cestus. Same thing with Demon Fist. Demon Fists are arguably worse because they don't even have Perseverance. They have that little Whirlwind, which is... It looks cool, but, I mean, super easy to dodge. The problem is not the damage. It's actually getting hits in without being interrupted with the Fist weapons. That makes them so bad in this game. Like in Dark Souls 2, there was some semblance of poise, so a one-handed S stock or something like that wouldn't interrupt you. And they came out, like, lightning fast. So, they were way better. Oh, that's so annoying, man. They're like in the exploding crystals. And they're just like, nah, I'm not gonna take damage. Good old Astora's man doing only rolling attacks. Because why would you do anything else with it? It is one of the best attacks in the game, so I, I can understand that. But goddamn, that's all he's doing. I can't really counter it, so. Oh, come on, the beam was in your eye. God, this spell is awful. Oish. Yeah, she used all the stamina, wow. And got her. <laughs> oh, time to do this. FP. <laughs> Come on, let me do it, man. Oh, he's not gonna let me do it. Actually, I wanna try parrying uh, the. Damn it, nope, we can't do it. Let's go back to mashing R1, I guess. Whoops, almost fucked that up hard. He has one more swing in him. You know what? It doesn't even matter if I trade at this point, whatever. Just. Mash R1. Or not. Damn it, tracking. Alright, fuck it. Got his heretic staff. Hard to stay in range. Need one more hit. Man, just give it to me. Thought for sure he was out of stamina there. That time I didn't do a rolling attack, I waited, but it still didn't matter because he rolled straight back. Problem is, if he hits me with a counter with that, I'll die. Oh, he's dead. So I had to be really careful there, because if he hit me with a, uh, a counter with the uh, rolling 2 and an R1, I would have died. So I had to be very, very passive there. I would have lost. I don't like having to do that, or having to do that, because it's boring. But, uh, I didn't want to die to that guy. Who did 37 rolling R2s in a row, or rolling R1s in a row, I'm sorry. Because that's, uh, it's not that it's uncounterable, it's just unpreventable. You can't really do anything about him spamming rolling our, our ones in a row. Because, um, unless you have, like, a, uh, another ultra great weapon, you can dodge it and then, like, roll poke with the, uh, hyper armor hit. But if I have this and I go in to, like, uh, if I dodge his rolling attack and I go into Farron Flash Short, he could already be starting a regular R1 out of his rolling attack and then he'll get me for another two hit combo. So it costs a lot of stamina, but it's possible for him to do that. And I didn't want to risk that. Because then I would, uh, I would have died. So had to be very, very passive. 
Man, I really wish White Dragon Breath wasn't so friggin' disappointing. Why do the exploding crystals do no damage? Why does it even have that crystal effect if it doesn't do anything? It doesn't make any sense. Just at least just just make it the laser beam so it actually makes sense like Soul Ray, you know? Eh, whatever. This guy's not very smart at all. He's still doing it. Ugh. Someday. Someday! Someday I will hit with White Dragon Breath and it will be- Oh, I hit one guy once because he stood in a straight line. <laughs> That's the only time I've hit somebody with this. Ugh, it's so hard. The reason, um, reposting with Soul Great Sword and shit is still not even that good is because you have to take out- You have to stop using the Scholar's Candlestick to actually take out your parrying tool. And uh, then you lose like the 20% or whatever bonus sorcery damage. So a Soul Great Sword that would normally do 600 does like 400. And that's that's pretty sad as far as repose go. <laughs> but it's better than just doing nothing, I guess. I don't know. I very, very rarely parry on this build. Only against guys that are just like doing really, uh, really easy to parry attacks like the Rolingo one. Saw power glove again. Oh boy. Giant washing pole. I should not win against this. How are we gonna do this? What are you even swinging at? Gotta use heretic staff for this because he's gonna roll out of range. What are you? What the fuck? Are you drunk? What is this warrior doing? <laughs> He's done nothing but the running R1. There you go. You did it. You parried the air. What are you doing? You're in the crystals! Alright, fuck that spell. White Dragon Breath is the worst spell, I swear to god. It's so disappointing. Oish. I don't wanna be- I don't wanna be a cock and say this guy's bad, but... It's pretty bad. Shit, I'm gonna finally get hit. Nope, still not. Oh, I almost got him in a pivot. Running out of mana. Fook! What world is this where the caster is pressuring the washing pole? What is happening right now? What the hell? I don't know what happened there. That was a little weird lag. That uh, that I don't feel cool about. That that was that was unclean. But whatever. The uh, ninety percent of his health that he lost was totally fine. That guy, uh, that that guy just looked at good players with the washing pole and just tried to mimic what they do, <laughs> but he did it really badly. So much so that he was swinging in the wrong direction sometimes. That was almost like comically bad. I'm so sorry, guy, if you're watching the video. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not saying like you as a player are bad. I'm just saying the way you were playing with that was really, really, really bad. In no way ever should a caster be pressuring you when you have a washing pole. <laughs> That is not something that should ever be happening. Like, if I was going against this, like, with my main build, if someone flash sword me once, I would just mash R1 with my Karthus. And I might get hit a second time, but then he would get stunned, and I would get two hits on him, and I'd win the trade every time. So even if I pressured him and stayed on his nuts the entire time, I would still win trades every single time. So... That's all I gotta do to counter this, is just stay in my face. Do not let me, like, gain any distance. Not spamming rolling on ones. Nice. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now. I'm not going to take out the Cestus yet. R1, 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 R... Aw, oh, my tracking fucked up in the end there. Yeah. What is that 
range. Right, well, now... Now you're gonna get buried. Oh, alright. He learned. He saw the Cestus. Smart. Oh, he's not fucking dead. God damn it, dude. This is where Farron Dart would be useful, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> what? Why? Why would you just sit there? Whatever. Aw, oh, I'm out of healing tools. Oh well. It's been almost an hour. These are supposed to be half an hour. I think we can call it quits there. I'm too lazy to go re this, so. Well, that's been, that was pretty fun. I, I actually enjoyed that a lot. I still don't think sorcery is good. I just think the people I've been fighting have been not that great. Not pressuring me enough. Um, and then the one time I did die is because Farron Hale missed the stationary target, so. I guess, I don't know. It's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's way more fun than, like, my main build. Don't get me wrong. It's, uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun. And I guess if you play it properly, you can still beat most people, but I don't know. In terms of fighting, like, really good players, I still think it's, I still think it's really bad. But, um, I don't know. I just, I guess I haven't come across a really good mage in 400 hours then. And, um, because if I had, I wouldn't be saying this. But until someone proves me wrong, I'm just going to go ahead and say they're just not... They're not good against good players, but I guess against, you know, everyone else, you, you can totally, you can totally wreck with them, so. Give it a try. It's, a, it's actually a lot of fun. And I guess that's it. Hope you enjoy, guys. And I will hopefully see you next time. Here, wait, this is going to be a sick outro. It's going to, like, the beam is going to hit, like, right as, as the movie ends. Here we go. 